So let's take a look at this uh, percentage changes in sales revenue. Percentage changes. So we'll add another column to that. So percentage changes. Well, from year 92 to 93, 80 became 100. So 80 became 100. So in the year 93 from 92, what exactly the change? The actual change is 20 crores, correct? 20 crores. Um, what is the base year? 92. So 92, the actual revenue is 80 crores. So 20 crores increase from where? 80 crores. So 20 crores increase from 80 crores. So 20 by 80. So 2 by 8. 2 by 8 is what? 1 by 4. 1 by 4? 25 percentage. So increase is what? 25 percentage. And that is in the year 93. Increase happened in the year where? 93. 92, we don't have any increase because the previous figure of the year 91 is not given here. So we have no idea. So from 93 to 94, what happened? 100 became 120. 100 became 120. So 20 crores increased. But what is the base year? In this case, it is 93 is a base year. So base year means from where that increase happened. So 93, the figure is 100 crores. And 94, it became 120. So that increases 20 crores over what? 100. So well, 20 over 100. So 20 over 100 is what? 1 by 5. 1 by 5? 20 percentage. So this increases what? 20 percentage. Now, 120, from 120, it went, went down to 100. So 94 to 95, the total sales went down from 120 to 100. So what is the actual decrease? 20 crores. However, what is the base year here? You may think 100 is increased by 20, so 20 percentage increase, and 120 became 100, so again that 20 crores less, that means 20 percentage decrease. So naturally, most of the students may write it as 20 percentage decrease. However, look at that part, be careful. The actual decrease is 20 crores, I agree with you, however, what is the base year figure over here? It is 120. So this case it is 20 decreased. Base year is 120. And here it was 100. Now this is what? 120. So 20 by 120 is what? 1 by 6. 1 by 6 is 16.6 .6 percentage. So what is the actual decrease? It is not 20 percentage. You need to be really aware of that part. So 16.6 percentage. Since it's a decrease, we'll put a negative sign or we'll put that in the bracket, doesn't matter. So that's an a decrease. Since that's an a decrease, we'll have that negative sign here. Now this 100 became 200. From 95 to 96, 100 became 200. So 100 became 200, it's, the figure is doubled. 100 into 2, 200. However, the actual increase is 100. 100 to 200 actual increase. 100 plus 100 is 200. Actual increase is 100. And what's the base figure? 100. So 100 increased. And base figure is 100. So 100 by 100 is 1. 1 into, this is multiplied by 100. So what is it? 100 percentage increase. What is it? 100 percentage increase. Now next one. 96 to 97, what is it? 200. 200 became 600. 200 became 600. So 200 into 3 is what? 600. So 3 times. However, 200 to 600, what is the actual increase? 200 plus 400 is 600. 200 plus 400. So actual increase is 400. So the actual, actual increase 400 divided by base year, what is it? 200. So now, look at it. 4 by 2. 4 by 2, when you cancel it, that become 2. So 2 into, you have a 100 here. So what is it? 200 percentage increase. 
Now, next, 97 to 98, 600 crores. 600 became 2,400 crores. 2,400 crores. 600 and 2,000, uh, like uh, 2,400, or 6 and 24, what's the connection? 6, 4 times is 24, right? So that is 600, 4 times is 2,400. So 4 times increase. 4 times increase is what percentage? Look at the actual figure, actual increase. 600 is increased by what? 1800 600 plus 1800 is 2400 so if that increase is 1800 actual increase is 1800 so that 1800 and what is the base here 600 so two zeros cancelled 18 by 6 that is 3 3 into we have a hundred in order to convert that into percentage so 3 into 100 300 percentage now, if that is the case, I'll give you the figure for the next year, 99, the year 99. So this is the year 99. Um, we'll write the figure for 99. That would be 100 and 120, 100 or 12,000 crores. 12, let's take it as 12,000 crores. You can read it as 120, 100 as well, but it is easy for us, 12,000. So 12,000 crores. Now 2,400, 2,400, this case it is what? 12,000 crores. What happened there? How many times? 24 became, let's delete that two zeros at the end. That's the reason I put a like comma here. So two zeros. They forget about that two zeros the balance is what 24 became 120 24 became 120 how many times 25 how many times five times is 125 24 how many times so 20 into 5 100 right balance is 4 4 into 5, 20. So 24 into 5, 24 5 times, 120. So if it is 5 times, what is the percentage here? Let's go back to the previous figures. In this case it was 200. 200 became 600. And in this case it was 100. 100 became 200. So 100 became 200. 100 is multiplied by 2 that became 200 if the multiplication or if it is two times the percentage is what 100 percentage increase now 200 became 600 so 200 into 3 is 600 so if it is three times then the percentage is increases 200 percentage how many times three times three minus one is 2 so 200 percentage this case is 600 600 became 2400 so how many times four times and four times the percentage is increases what 300 percentage so well if it is four times four minus one is three 300 percentage now this case 24 became 120 so 98 to 99 24 became 120 that means 2400 became one uh, twelve thousand okay for 24 and 125 times if it is five times your percentage increase would be what five minus one four it is going to be four hundred percentage four hundred percentage see that how simple it is now we'll take another example let's say a figure 40 40 became like a 240. So 40 became what? 240. How many times? 40, how many times? So this is year one, this is year two. So 40 became 240, how many times? Six times. 
4 into 6 is 24. So 6 times. If it is 6 times, 6 minus 1, 5. What is the percentage increase? 500 percentage increase. 500 percentage increase. And if you have any confusion, how do you verify it? Take the difference. 40 and 240, what is the difference? 200. And 200 divided by, what is it? Bezier. Bezier, 40. See that? 20 and this is 4. And if 4 is divided by, I mean 20 is divided by 4, what do you get? 5. The figure is 5. 5 into you have what? A 100 over, yeah, 100 over here in order to convert that into percentage. So ultimately what do you get? 500 percentage. Fair enough. This is what pretty much, you know what? Percentage conversions. And there's a 70 percentage of data interpretation questions, especially for competitive exams. This is what you can expect. Well, the given figures doesn't matter. It's table or pie chart or histogram, whatever it is, probably you have to convert that into percentage. And this chart will help you to do that. One by two, if you see that figure is pretty much what? One by two, that is what? 50 percentage. I have given you the example, one more example. Let's say we have something like a, a company there Total production is 300 tons in the year one. Second year, the production is 450 tons. So how much is the increase? 300 to 450, 150 is the increase. And what is the base year? 300 is the base year. So 150 divided by 300. 150 divided by 300, that is one by two. So this increase would be 50 percentage. See that? So keep on doing it based on mental calculation. There is no need for formula. Just use this chart and use your brain. You can do it. So keep on doing it until we meet next time. Thank you for your patience.